morning, YouTubers. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm Tamara Chase here with Chase Dance Company and here to talk to you today about how to brand or even rebrand your dance studio. So let's talk about your brand and what a brand actually is. Some people think brand is your logo and your colors and it's actually so much more than that. It's, it's how you are making your clients and your students, both your parents and your students, feel through the entire process there in your dance studio from the moment they walk into the door, whether they're sitting in the lobby or taking classes or simply just doing paperwork. Um, it's how their experience is and how you make them feel. It's what they see in the studio, it's what they hear in the studio, and how your logo and your colors and the appearance of your lobby make them feel. That's your culture, that's your brand. So first, to, know, to narrow down exactly what your culture and your brand are, you want to think of three words that describe your, your business. So for Chase Dance Company, mine would be sleek, um, innovative, professional, and luxurious. I have four words. And for me, those four words mean they insinuate just a simple, clean, black and white logo for me. That's all I wanted. Because when you see something black and white, you automatically think clean, professional, luxurious, right? Versus if you see playful colors, yellows and pinks and blues, and that's a little bit more fun or calming and confident, those all show different words. So really think about what you want your, your company culture to be at your dance studio, and then go from there on choosing what colors your logo should be. So when you say these words, about your studio, what colors do you think of? What colors come to mind? Then those could be the colors for your logo. So then once you have your colors, then you can speak to your graphic designer about your fonts, whether or not you want a dance vector involved in your, in your logo or not. You could even do some drawings yourself. Um, you don't have to be a professional artist, so just do a few sketches to get the idea across to a graphic designer. But you definitely want to go with a professional graphic designer. Do not use clip art or word art in um, Microsoft Office packets. Okay, yeah, definitely go to a professional who knows what they're doing because your logo is important. It's what people are gonna remember when they see it. Make sure your logo is clean and simple and just easy to pick up quick with an eye, just a glance, and you should be able to see that logo. You don't want to have any more than about three colors in your logo and go ahead and Google color schemes to make sure those colors don't clash um, and they complement each other really nicely. Remember, colors mean something. So think of your three words that describe your company culture before picking your color. And also, once you have um, your colors and your logo picked out, like I mentioned in the previous videos, get feedback. Put it on your personal Facebook page and ask your friends and family and everybody that's involved in your circle. Ask for their opinions and their thoughts. So I hope this video helped kickstart your dance studio branding. So first, let's just recap quickly. You're going to think of three words that describe your dance studio business, your culture, and what you want your clients to feel when they walk in the door. And then you're from those three words, you're going to choose your three colors, okay? The color scheme that blend really well together. Do a couple of sketches, get that logo going send it off to a graphic designer, and then get your feedback from your friends and family. So just a quick, just a quick side note, um, I'm giving you, I'm not a professional marketer and brander, I'm just giving you my experience on how I started Chase Dance Company in hopes that it's going to add value and help you in your process of starting a dance studio, and which I really help, hope it does, and I'm more than happy to help you guys out with any questions or anything. So. Definitely comment below if you need any help or have any questions and I'll respond to those as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much and I'll be back next time.